got to hide the fact from us that life was really tough. I can hear my mother call. I can hear my mother call. Late at night I hear a call. On the Lord I hear a call. She said, For the Father, it's for the kids. Any and everything I did. Please, please don't judge me too strong. convinced him that black is beautiful. Two turned on today kids in love and in trouble. Brenda Sykes. John Nielsen. Her friends called him Honky. Don't wait too long, Honky. She's used to fast service. Between Sheila and her father, the generation gap was wide, as it was between Wayne and his father. Everybody wants a free ride. Nobody wants to earn his way. It's soft, I tell you. It's like those marching coons. Don't use that word. The kilo. We're in a hurry. You got two hundred and twenty-five dollars. We'll do better outside. We'll live hot nuts. You are healthy looking devil. You know that? I wondered where in the hell you were. Honey, if he's bugging you, just give me the word. No, uh, he happens to be my old man. Oh, 
real reason I had to leave town was because I didn't want my parents to find out. That your girl was a nigger, right? Terror in the night. the year of the ghetto warriors, the people's army. We got a new deal now. You shoot one of my soldiers, and I shoot one of your gorillas. I mean, they made a call on us, and we got to answer, right? The ghetto warriors, when they declare war, it's all out. They're the ghetto warriors. Some call them the Black Gestapo, rated R.
social call. Look, Tony, I was just doing my job. Oh, skip it, crud. You know, you kill me. You go through the war with my own man, and he saves your life. So you own one, right? No. Uh, not you. Not rule book. No, you catch me coming off the highway with a trunk load of weed, you bust me. You'll be out for parole soon. I'll put on a good word for you. Big fucking deal. You know, my old man died of a broken heart because of what you did? Look, Tony, your father was my best friend, and I'm sorry. But that's over and done with. Yeah. Well, it's too late for that pig. Tony, if you were innocent, you wouldn't be in here. Really? Well, what do you want from me, old buddy? Jesse Lee Kane's broken up. You were a cellmate, <laughs> and I need your help. <laughs> Fuck you, pig. Look, Tony, you know how bad Jesse can be. You want that animal out on the loose? What do you want from me that you can't get off the rap sheets? Hmm? He's a murderer. He kills for the fun of it. <laughs> He's a rapist. Ooh, mm -hmm. He does that for the fun of it, too. <laughs> He's the most miserable, mean, toughest lass you'll ever meet. Oh, and he bites dirty, too. <laughs> you know what, Riley? You deserve each other. Learn something or what? All I was saying, man, is I've come to Canada for. I already told you that because I'm the boss. Besides, I got brains over you. Hell, if it wasn't for me, you'd be wearing your gray pajamas by now. I'll tell you something else. If you don't like it, you can get out and walk. I'm gonna slip my ass across the border into Canada. Oh no, man, that's right with me, you know. I wanna go there. I'm sticking with you. We are on this thing together, man. You got this mask. I'm sticking to your brain. Man, I do have a question for you. If you're so smart, how are we gonna pay the toss? Well, look, they're gonna get us now, man. We got no money. Slow up, get over the right. Shut your face, stick. Here, give me that nigga's rag. I'll be... That jig ain't got a deuce in his grouch bag. Do you believe that? Well, what are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? They're gonna send us back, man. I don't wanna go back there. No way, man. Fuck, eh? What happens now? Shut up, I told you. Come on, you. You got the money? You just kill a cop, man. They're gonna get us. Damn it. Why? Hurry up, man. Hurry up, man. We're getting close. Come on, give me the money. Come on. Keep it in your pants. I 
I'm not going to eat them. Well, young man, there's no way to guarantee yourself a piece of that delicious pumpkin pie we're all having for dessert. You better get cracking at that face, you young whippersnapper, if you're going to be world champ. <laughs> world champ? Bring on the rest, because you know I'm the best. <laughs> and let me tell you, there ain't no supper. Because this <laughs> is a home of the whopper. It's about enough of that, Floyd. Strength isn't everything. The Lord said the meat shall inherit this earth. Hmm. Amen. I'll tell you where it's at. Black power. That's where it's at. That's right, Granny. Black power. Right on. Hmm. Now, you eat the rest of your salad like your pop said. I'll go out in the kitchen and get that pumpkin pie. The meat shall inherit the earth. Hmm. That's a pile of nonsense. Is that going to be in your sermon, Sunday, Deacon Turner? Well, you all know it is. It's in the middle of the second page. Of course, if you've forgotten, I'd be more than happy to deliver it again. Oh, Daddy, we've heard it ten times already. And you don't have to give it for two more days. The good word never wears out its welcome, child. Then you do want to hear it again. Mm -hmm. The lessons of brotherly You're love is... You're doing that sermon nonstop till Sunday. Promise me you won't do it when Karen comes for dinner tomorrow. I don't know why you had to go and invite that white girl into my house for family dinner. She loved Val as much as we did. And if it wasn't for that car accident, she would have been one of the family. Well, I like her. I think we all like her. And she's always welcome in our home. Isn't that right, Louise? I suppose. Come on now, Corey. You too, Floyd. Give me a hand here so we can get on with dessert. What do you got? Looks like your boys ran low on gas last night. Driving that big Merc, it doesn't surprise me. What'd they do? They hit a gas station, ripped off the cash box, stabbed the hell out of the attendant. Lost a lot of blood. He's still in critical. Get him, mate. Very cooperative. Made all three of them. And given that gas station last night, we think they're still in the state. Good. I'm going into town on church business. Anyone want to take a ride? Um, I wanted to head over to Joe's to pick up some wine for dinner. But I'll take my bike. Yeah, suit yourself. See you then. I'll get it. Hello. Hello, Corey. Hi, Karen. Is everything still go for dinner? Everything's all set. Only come by early so we can visit a little first. Listen, are you sure it's okay? I mean... I know your mom wasn't too excited. Listen, I wouldn't have invited you if the invitation didn't come from all of us. Now you listen, girl. You come on over like you're supposed to. But I know she holds me responsible. Not at all. She knew how Val was with the car. Look, that's all water under the bridge. So come on. Okay. You know, I really do want to come. It's just I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. Hey, girl. I guess you're right. You just get yourself here on time. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I can't pretend that I don't miss you anymore. We
Morning. Something I can get you? Morning, neighbor. Y'all got any, uh, Bayou Blue? A little far north for Bayou. But I have all the regular brands over there on the second shelf. Thank you kindly. Hi, Corey. How are you? Hi, Joe. What can I get you? I need a white for dinner. Hi, Sandy. Sweet. How about the leave for milk? Or would you rather have the ripple? It's your grandmother's favorite. Just ask her. Hey, Joe, you're jiving me. I told you, ask your grandmother. Did you want that chilled? No, nope, don't need it till dinner. Let me take care of these gentlemen, okay? Sure. Mighty kind, have you? That be all? No, as a matter of fact. How about emptying the cash box, neighbor? Sure, fella. Anything to say? Just don't get excited. Well, that's okay. Nobody get excited. Now just put the money in a brown bag. Do it slow so I can watch those hands. That your baby? That's right. Show is a pretty tight. Shame to make her an orphan. Just do like you told. Ain't nobody gonna get hurt. <laughs> Man. I don't want no little witnesses. <laughs> I knowed it was empty, but I had you going, didn't I? <laughs> now let's go. Don't give me any trouble, son. Blood brothers. Who well, else? Stop me five, bro. You know, this is for keeps. No matter what goes down, we're gonna be blood brothers for the rest of our lives. You will. My dad said your brother was pretty brave going to Nam and all. My dad's always saying that a really brave guy walks away from a fight whenever he can. He didn't even want Val to win this. So well, my dad said him and the other cops down at the station, they really thought Val was pretty brave. How did he win that medal? Yeah, well, come on. Hey, put him cut up. it out, we Cut him off. Cut uh, him. You're uh, asking for it. Hot dog. Hot dog. Uh, uh, hot dog. Hey, man. Hot dog's for real emergencies. I know, but... No buts, man. It's for real emergencies only. And if you're crapping around, how will I know when it's serious? Yeah, I guess you're right. Max. Hey, man, what time you get? It's about noon. Oh, darn. I gotta go back up to the house and do some stuff. Having company for dinner. Yeah, will you be able to come down later? Yeah, but come and get me. The less company talk I have to listen to, the better I'd like it. Okay, see you later. All right. Come on, Ted. <coughs> Is that you, Ted? I forgot to ask you to get me some sugar because I'm going to... Good afternoon, ma'am. Mind if we come in? Who are you? What is this all about? Jesse the King, ma'am, and I'll ask the questions. You understand? What's all this rufus out here? Good afternoon, oh. Granny. Where are the rest of the family? Chino, check upstairs. Ling, check out the back rooms. Where's the car? Tar Baby here says you've got wheels. 
husband took it into town. He'll, he'll be back soon. Anybody else? My son, Floyd, he's out playing in the woods. Nobody else in touch. Good. Watch the front door. Let me know when that car turns up. Please leave us alone. We haven't done anything. No, but we have. Now shut your yap and sit out over there on the couch. Now, who in the hell are you coming in here giving us orders? I'm the law, as long as I got this thing. Who is that? When's he coming back? That's my son, Val. He'd have shown you if he was here. He ain't never coming back. He's passed on to a place where you'll never go. Amen. Well, he's a lucky one then, ain't he? Hey, man, there's the key to the door coming to the front door. That's my son, Floyd. Please don't hurt him, please. <laughs> All right, everybody, stay cool. We ain't gonna have any problems now. You understand that? Hey, Mom, who belongs to that neat car? What's going on? It's our car, boy. Now get your ass in there on that couch and sit down. You may be brave, kid, but you ain't got nothing upstairs. That dog bite. Chew your throat out. Lady, don't push me. Chino, put that mutt in the closet. I don't want Ling messing with her. Perhaps the father. All right, no trouble, people. Hello? Where's everybody hiding? Who belongs to that beautiful car out there? Louise? Do we have company? Company? You better believe it, Burhead. Now get your ass in here. Who, who are you? Jesse Lee Kane. Pleased to meet you, nigga. Go on, shake it. I said shake it, Spade. My name's Ted Turner. What do you want of us? Pleased to meet you, Turnip. Now move your ass over there on the couch and I'll lay it all out for you. So there ain't no misunderstanding. What do you do, you bank robbers? Shh. Right smart boy you got there. What'd you say your name was, Turd? Is that right? Ted. Yeah, Uncle Remus, that's what I thought, Turd. Now, like I was saying, we've blown away a whole lot of folks between us. And a few more here and there don't make no difference to me. But with all them squirrels out there on the road trying to hunt up our ass, it just don't make sense being out there where they can grab us. So we're going to hang out on the line, visit with y'all a spell. Then when it gets a mite dark out, we're going to take your car. Amigo. Muy bien, muy bien. Like I was saying, if everybody behaves nice, and entertains us, and is hospitable, ain't nobody going to get hurt. So. You understand? All right. We'll cooperate. But just don't do anything to hurt us. That's the kind of talk I like to hear. But just in case anybody changes their mind, <coughs> taking any chances. Gino, Ling, pull out the rest of them. Now then, ain't your mama. How about moving your ass out to the kitchen and rustling us up some soul food? I said move. Now, we making some progress. By the way, any of you coons want to tie the feed bag on? I said any of you black ass coons hungry? What is this? You people are supposed to like to eat. Any of you black ass coons hungry? Yes, we're hungry if that's what you want. No, that ain't it at all, you black ass booger. <laughs> I don't want to force you. Now, let's try it again. Any of you black ass coons hungry? Yes, we're hungry. Close, monkey face, but not quite on the nose. I say, any of you black ass coons hungry, and you're supposed to say, yes, master. Us black ass coons is all hungry. Now, you got that? All right, here we go. Any of you black ass coons hungry? Yes, we're all. Don't sell me short, turd. I'll do it, and you know it. All right, you win. It's all of us black ass. No, 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 you got it all wrong. 
I want, I want it loud, and I want it sexy, and I want it now. Yes, sir, master. All of us black ass coons are hungry. Good. That's what I thought. Now let's go get some grub, y'all. By the way, I hope you folks don't mind, but I invited some friends of mine along. You got any objections to eating with a chink and a stick? Man, I told you, don't call me straight! Man, I told you, don't ever tell me what to do. I'll blow your brains all over the fucking wallpaper. I'm hungry. Let's eat. I said, let's eat. Now set the fuck down. Don't be a jerk, turd. You said if we cooperated, nobody would get hurt. But I tell you now, Kane, if you push me... Bitches! I know what you're saying. I just wanted a little lady here to sit next to Master Kane. You'd like there the whole bunch, wouldn't you, Missy? <laughs> That's right. Let's all make ourselves at home. Moms, what's to eat? Macaroni and cheese, is that all right with you? Don't get up at it, bitch. Serve it. I do mean Southern style. What's the matter? Nobody hungry? Go on, eat up. Lord Almighty, bless us this our daily bread and grant us forgiveness in this world, amen. And make us ever mindful of the needs of others. Good, that's over now. Fetch me something to drink. Not you, him. I'm the master of the house and I want the head nigger to fetch me drink. Go on, boy, get it. Oh, crap, never mind. Ling, I left that bottle in the car, go get it. Chop, chop. <laughs> you see how much the little one catch when you get mad at his bottle? A heel, little. <gasps> Don't take it personal. You get yours later. Fat cheek. There ain't nothing left for us to eat. You want it? My country, we eat the garbage. Scrap from the floor. But here I am the king. <laughs> and I want you to eat from the floor. You to eat from the Eat this! You motherfucker! You so funny as no bird I ever did see. Look what you did to me! on King Chino. But she said, I see what she did and it looks good on you. Now sit down. <laughs> now finish eating. Now, you poor white trash. If you didn't have that gun, you'd be a yellow streak bum. You may be right. But while I got it, I'm king of the roost. <laughs> Besides, 
If I feel like it later, I may put this down your throat and break out the rest of your teeth. You know, I just don't understand you people. Uh, we come in here out of the blue. We take over. We do bloody well what we want. And y'all just sit there like brown dirt balls on a fender. I mean, what the hell is it with you people? I won't lift a fist against you, King. All I want for my family and myself is for you and your friends to be out of here. Out of this house and out of our lives without anyone being hurt. That's all. No more, no less. Is that too much to ask? I want to know that, King. I don't give a rat's ass what you want to know, King Coon. And I'll tell you why. I never asked for nothing from nobody. And that's what I got. Nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Not no money from my tired old spineless father. Because he didn't have nothing to give. He didn't die, my pep. He got so tired of tilling his two acres, he just melted into the soil. Even the state, the God of that state, they give you a place, a cage of your own. But you know what they take in exchange? They rob you of your manhood. You ought to know what I'm talking about, Pops. They cut you off between the legs. You got any idea what it's like to be thrown in the hole when you're just a boy? Thrown to the animals? Well, let me tell you, it ain't no, no picnic. Once there was a woman. I thought she was going to give me what I wanted. There's nobody ever give me nothing. I fucking take what I wanted every time. You learn not to stop till you get it. But don't you worry the fucking kinky hair off your head. Because as soon as it gets dark out, we're going to tie y'all up in the cellar. Maybe take us a hostage, huh? I like that. I like a woman with spunk. I die first, you bastard. I want you to know something, Kay. You can take any material thing we own. But when you get ready to take your hostage, you better take me. Well, you just about the most cooperative darky I ever did see. What school you go to? Scrape and shuffle you? Daddy, stand up to him. Put him away. Your dad is right, boy. Which you rather be, a dead black man or a live jive ass coon nigger? You think on that. <laughs> Your dad is a fine, upstanding man. He's a bend over backwards and shine your shoes, master coon. You watch and you learn. Well, your daddy's so cooperative, I bet he'd even shine my shoes. How about that? You want to shine my shoes, darky? What's the matter? You not interested? The measure of a man is dignity. The measure of a man is power! Now lick my boots now! Sit down, boy! You ought to know better. It's not going to need it where he's going. You ought to know that disturbing anything at the scene of a crime is a chargeable offense. You must be Riley. Chief Hamilton. They told me to expect you. What do you got? Oh, 
A lot of people are going over the place for prints, and uh, we'll have a ballistics report in about an hour. How do you know it's my boys? A couple of passers-by who saw the uh, brown murk out there that fits the description. Okay, so my boys have been here. Anything else? Yeah, did you notice that bicycle out front? Yeah, I'm passing. Right. Well, around here, people don't just leave a bike like that for a couple of hours and disappear. You're saying they have a hostage? I'm saying I think so. These good folks is they don't know how to host proper like. Look at them sitting there. Fine bunch of dead beats. Hey, do you know you know what we need? We need us some good old down home entertainment. Now which one of you jive ass spades wants to do a jig? <laughs> Get it? Jig doing a jig. <laughs> no, man, I ain't kidding. I really do want to see one of you do that dance. Come on, don't be bashful. Now, who's going to dance for us? How about the little one? How about you, Floyd? You want to dance for us? Well, that's a right shame. Better not let the news get out. You give the race a bad name. Oh, hell, I know how to dance. I can teach any one of you. Come on, let's have a volunteer. How about you, Pops? You want to dance for us? I really rather not. I don't give a rat's ass what you'd rather do. Now get up! All right, give that bugger a fucking hand. All right, Pops. Come over here. Now watch this. <laughs> All right, now you try it. You've been holding out on me. Come on, let's hit it. <laughs> All right. How about that? Now, Pops is going to do it solo, huh? Dance, goddammit! <laughs> Dance! <laughs> Nobody told you to stop. Dance! <laughs> Oh, hell, yeah, that's enough. Everybody, let's clap for it. Tough finding appreciation, even at home, huh, Pops? <laughs> uh, anyway, it's time for the musical portion of the program. Pops is going to sing for us. Ain't that right, Pops? I really can't sing well. Can't sing well. You trying to hustle me, Pops? I uh, know I can't. Now get your ass up on this stool and make like a black canary. All right, good. All right, sing. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He has trampled out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He, he has loosed a faithful lightning of his terrible sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory. 
Somebody's coming. Oh, my God, it's Karen. Who? A friend of the family's. Leave her be. She won't cause any trouble. Lynn, go out the back, circle around on her. Let's take her. Who the hell is that? That's my friend Joey. My blood brother. His father's a... He's a fine man. And Joey's a fine boy. Don't do him any harm, Kane. Do him, man. We'll see, we'll see. Floyd, go ahead and get rid of him. Don't say anything funny. Or your friend and your whole fucking family buys it. Joey, how are you, man? Where the hell you been? I've been waiting for you down at the fort for 20 minutes. Well, I kind of decided not to come out, so I'll see you later, huh? You sure? Anything wrong? Maybe you had a fight with your father? No, nah, it's nothing like that. I'll see you later, huh? Okay, anything you say. See you later, hot dog. Who are you calling a hot dog? You, you hot dog. Very good, little coon. You kept your cool.
this your boy? Sure is. Maybe he could help out with that bicycle angle. You know, you may have something there. I'll give a ring home and see if Joey's around. How many deserted buildings do you have in the area that would hide their car? Mm, about a dozen, maybe two in the immediate area. Hello? Hello, Dollface. How are you? Fine. Uh, hon, is Joey there? No, why? Do you need him? I think he's out in the woods with the Turner boy. Well, if he sticks his face in the door, uh, have him give me a call. What is it? You tell me, make it to help me solve the case. Love you. Bye-bye. Well, no luck. Nah, he's out playing with one of the kids in the neighborhood. Hey, what do you want to do about those abandoned factory sites? You have the manpower to cover them all? Yeah, if we do them one at a time. Do it. John! Yeah? Tell Wilson and Mars to take a car from the hill and check out those old deserted factory sites. I want that car. You know what gets me? What's that? Looks like a uh, hostage number and nobody's called in a missing person. Beats me, too. Maybe that bicycle hasn't got anything to do with it. You get many abandoned bicycles up in this neck of the woods? Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you what. Let's get in the car and go have a look-see at some of those buildings. I get itchy just hanging around here. Why, howdy, stranger. Come on in. Where the hell you been? It was a boy, too. Joey! What happened to Joey? I smashed him with a rock. He is dead. And the girl? She was strong. She ran fast. You let her get away, you fool! I chased her up a hill to the train bridge. There she resisted, but I was persuasive, and she submitted to me. Oh, oh no! She would! But she did. She wears lacy under the thumb. She kisses with her tongue. And her hair was golden in the sun before she gave herself. It's a lie. It's a lie. She would never. Then I broke her white, lovely neck and threw her into the river. All right, now listen. Yes. First, we got to get rid of that car. But that one can put it in the garage. No, I don't want anybody ambling by to check on the Coon family singers here. That's right. No, we stick it in the woods now. Well, there's light to see by. And when it gets dark, we move. You mean it, man? I mean, we're to Paris? We're going to make it? Break your bottle. Hey, Pops, you got any gas in that rig? I filled it downtown. That is a shame, because I was going to have you suck, siphon the gas, see how much you swallow, and then light you up like a torch. <laughs> Gino, yeah. you go with Pops. In their car. Ling, you go to the Mercury. Stick it deep in the woods, and when it gets dark, we'll move. Get a move on, Pops. And remember, you give them any trouble, you get shot and I'll cut their throat and delight in it. Now move. You in a big hurry? What now? You ran a red light, you're not in pursuit. Technically, you should be charged. You shot at sunrise. What's with you anyway? You never met a cop like you. You climb in every violation like it was first degree. Look, I don't care who breaks the law or what law they break. Everybody gets the same thing. That's the name of the game. It's not my job to figure out whether or not the guy's got a good reason. Now, that's up to the courts to decide. Precious little good they do. We had to kill half the bastards that walk through our doors. Make life easier all the way around. Not my job. A guy steps out of line and I bust him, and that's it. If he's right, that's up for the court to decide. 1621, 1621. 1621. Got a brown mark under observation. Cruising overwood headed north. New York plates. Over. Could be at worst. 1621 will intercept an intersection of 24. Request a backup. Special Unit 2 is running parallel on Rogers Street. He'll back you up. 1621, request car to car. Go ahead, 1621. Calling Unit 2, 1621. 1621, Unit 2. Don't push him till we get there. Lay back. I'm gonna make it stick. Unit 2.
Now, where the hell do you think you're going? To the toilet, if you have no objections. Objection? Ain't nobody moving till I give the say-so. Y'all understand that? But I don't have to go... I'm running this show, deputy dog. Now, sit down. But if you raise that hand and wave it a bit, I might recognize you and give you my permission. I see a hand, but I don't recognize the owner. <laughs> you keep it up there. I'll let you hit the pisser when I'm good and ready. Now, where are you going, King Coon, Junior? <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere. I was just stretching. Keep it up there. I wonder where in the hell the troops is. They ought to be back by now. Hmm. Maybe they run off and left you. You got it coming. Nobody asked you to open your hole. Shut it. And it's for you, little coon. Come over here and park your ass on that kindling. Now you sit. I'll be if you don't look like you belong there. What are you talking about? You, little coon. You the nigger in the wood pile. And you stay there. And when the pervert and Chino get back, I'm gonna put Martin Luther Coon right there next to you. You be your father and coon, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Did I get back? against the car. Spread them. I was only doing 40 miles an hour. I was just looking for an open gas station. I only had three drinks. Is this a dangerous killer? The plates don't even match. Book him. Come on, he's not one of our boys. He's scared shitless. I said book him. Fine, what for? Speeding, failure to comply, and drunken driving. You heard the man book him. Bring him back to the station. We'll deal with him later. All I was doing was trying to get some gas. Don't, don't call my wife. I want my lawyer. This ain't the damnedest nonsense I ever saw. What in the hell do you think you're going to prove? They only come back here and I'll be forced to shoot the lot of you. Shut up, Honky, or you're going to bleed. <laughs> That's a laugh. You wouldn't do it if you had to. You're yellow as your pop. Shut up, my pop's not you. <laughs> Come on, boy, stick me. Be careful, Floyd. Come on, do it. <laughs> Kate, chicken boy. Pop it, boy, pop it. Put them all in the couch now. You got more guts than your old man. I'm proud of you. So proud of you, I'm going to make an example out of you to your old man. When he comes back here, he's going to find you hanging from the nearest tree. I'm not afraid of you, Kane. You want to hang me, you go right ahead. What do you want from us, Kane? Our respect. 
That will never happen, but we won't resist you again. Now, you leave him alone. Maybe you're right. I mean, he's so young and willing, probably wouldn't do nothing, wouldn't teach him nothing. So I'm gonna hang you instead. How'd you like that, deputy dog? How you like that, Floyd? I'm gonna hang your mama instead of you. If that's what you mean to do, then do it and be done with it. <laughs> well, I hope Kane is right. We don't have a choice. We're here. Pulling slope up. So where do you think you're going? It's my wife I hear. Sounds like a little fiesta to me. <laughs> Go on whether you like it or not. You're not gonna hang my mommy. <laughs> Daddy, you all right? I'm okay. What's happening here? Shut the hell up. I'm in charge here. What'd he do? He was trying to get cute, so I scared him a little. Yeah? Well, I'm sick and tired of all these games. I'm gonna teach these people a lesson they won't forget. Come on up, woman. Me, hey, I'm gonna cut her down. You're gonna shoot. Do it now. Shoot him. Shoot him. What's the matter with you, you dumb speck? Shoot him. Get your ass up. Get her. Get your ass up. Update on your code one. Go ahead, control. Wife of the victim gave us a probable ID on the bicycle. Belongs to a Corrine Turner, 112 Fury Road. Skip it. I know the place. My son plays with their kid. Notify the state police. We'll be in radio contact. What the hell is this? God and brotherhood. Who the hell do you think you are? Martin Luther King? I'd be honored to follow in the footsteps of Dr. King. And yes, I'm committed to the Lord. I believe in God. Well, it won't do you any good with me. Because I don't. And you'll get your just rewards in this world or the next. All a crock of shit. Pure manure. You assholy rollers are in for a big surprise. Maybe. It's the other way around, Kane. Oh, yeah? You ever been to heaven? No, I haven't. Well, how in the hell do you know it's there? Faith. Oh, faith. This your good book? Yes. Says here you're supposed to turn the other cheek. That right? That's right. Well, let's do it. Turn, 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 Toothless old bitch. You couldn't beat a dead man in a foot race in that hand pusher. And you couldn't put this brood up against the wall without that gun. You all just fakers in a whorehouse. Now what's that, old woman? A little boy with a banana in his pants. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. You two-legged yellow dog. That's what you are. Come on, shoot me. Shoot me. But I'll tell you something, Mr. Poor White Trash. You ain't nothing but what you've got in your hand. And your pappy should have thought about that before he stuck 
acted in your manner. Shut up! I'm just getting stuck. Why are you going to be tricked down like wild animals in a jungle? You may not care about yourself, old hag, but you sure as hell do care about the young ones. And you make one more sound, and I'll blow this girl's brains out! Now you think, don't you? That's showing head, amigo. Yeah, man. Damn yeah, right. Man, we're going to get the hell out of here. We wait till dark. Then we take your jungle bunny's car and grease on through the darkness. They'll never catch us. Do you know a place to go? You bet your ass. <laughs> what do you think? I'm making it up? The whole thing just waiting on us to happen. I know the border. I got the contact. You stick with me. Jesse Lee gonna take good care of you. My good buddies. By tomorrow night, we'll be out of the country. And day after tomorrow, out of the continent. <laughs> hey, Chino. You ever been to Paris? I understand they got the hottest little number just walking around asking for it. <laughs> Come here, bitch. Get off don't move. my sister. I got you right where I want you. Now we're going to see if black womanhood is up to white manhood. Yeah, it looks like more rain, maybe. How good is that audio extender? We haven't had it that long. It's unpredictable. No, no, no. no try that. How was it, Kane? Well... She don't like it a whole hell of a lot, but it was mighty fine for yours truly. <laughs> you get in there and do your business. Watch the little one. He'll sit right where he is, or he'll get his. No, 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 no. Try that. All I'm getting is static. Ah! in the back so they saw some action in one of those rear rooms. So it looked like someone's screwing. I know those people in there. I think we gotta get in there and shoot it out. Lord knows what will happen if we don't go in. Lord knows what'll happen if we do. We have to charge the place, use the gas too. Look, Hamilton, this is my show and we're gonna run this my way. You say you know those people in there and you wanna save them. Well, I know those convicts. And if we rush that place, those people are gonna be dead before we hit the front porch. I don't want to see innocent people die. We can't take the risk. If I were in charge, Look, I would... insubordination in the field is a damn good way to lose your tag. We wait a while longer. And she was a Taiwan. I'll say. Here, Floyd, have a tug. Go on. <laughs> Good luck, no. Romeo. Oh, my
Where are you going? To get some water. Oh, let me. You guessed it, Pops. <laughs> While you was away, I filled my first black oak. You know, she's the first virgin I've seen in a long time. Don't trouble yourself, Pops. I'm sorry, sir. His kid? Yeah. Now, Master Kane, let's try it without the gun. the beginning. Now it's our turn. Well, what's it gonna be, Kane? You gonna let him go? Gino! There's no way out. Except to give up. Come up, I want you to answer him. I'm up, my dog! Now you answer him. Tell him you're not coming out. <laughs> Listen, speak and you listen good. I may not be always with this thing, but I could hardly miss from this range. Now you answer, you're telling me you're not coming out. I'm not coming out. You don't remember well. You're supposed to say it loud and sassy. Now answer him again louder. Are you coming out? Rodriguez. Gino, is that you? Tell him yes. Don't be a fool, Rodriguez. Give it up. Let the Turners go. That if he makes one step towards the house, you're gonna start killing us. If you make one step to the house, we're gonna start killing that! Hold it, said eyes! Uh huh. So this is the way it is, huh? Look who's got the gun. Love thy neighbor itself, you yellow pops. 
You wouldn't pull that trigger if you had to. You might. Don't think I would. Push me, honky. Find out. You just like the rest of your race. No guts, no nerve. You might have it big between the legs. But you ain't got no balls. <laughs> Where you going, Master King? You ain't gonna make old Turner come get you on your boy. Oh, Master King, that ain't no way to thank Aunt Jemima for all that hospitality. <laughs> My daughter sends her regards. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Don't tell me you ain't gonna turn the other cheek like this black ass mother. Oh. Oh. Hold your positions, but be ready to move in. I want men on the north. And on the west with tear gas grenades. And make sure our people are masked. 10-4. We're ready. Good. But first I want to try this the easy way. I don't want to lose any more people. If you harm those people, it's only going to be worse. Send out the Turner family now. All right. Have it your own way. We're moving in in 10 seconds. Officers! Oh, shit. Hold your fire, damn it. Officers, please don't come in. <laughs> They're going to kill my mom and dad. Oh, please, don't come any closer. What are you going to do now, sir? Well, we'll give him a few more minutes, and then we'll try pushing him again. All right, right, stand by. Have you got that damn thing fixed yet? No, might be a minute, could be an hour. Oh, fine, fine. I hope nobody does anything rash in the meantime. do it myself. You know, Cain, I was never with a man before today. But I know you're not for real. You ain't even big enough to cut off. That's not true. I'm more a man than any of you. No, you're not. Grab the knife, Cain! Grab the knife! All right, no more killing. Throw the gun out the window, and then you come out. This is your last chance. Let the Turners come out, and then you come out. Or we're coming in. sir? Nothing much at all. Damn thing ain't hardly working at all. But wait a while. Hmm. 
going through the rest of you going through. <laughs> We can take him alive or we can take him dead. I want him alive. Pass it on. Challenge, you're with me. Let's go. Time to break up this free for all. Uh, Carl, uh, Dan, he's coming. Uh, uh, Dog. Don't give me no trouble. Come with me. Nice and slow. You might take it out of this trap. Come, Dale, look at here. Hey, say, we got us a regular reception. There's nobody be stupid. I got Mama, and I'm getting out of here. You got that? How far would you get, Kane? Give it up. I ain't never giving up. <laughs> now, you get me a car, and you pull it up here. Right now. I call all them cops back. You hear? <laughs> Do it now! So everybody can hear you. You heard the man. Pull back. And hold your fire. All right, now give me some wheels fast. Couldn't we? You all see this woman die? Come uh, on. All right. All right, don't shoot. We'll get you a car. That's better. Gang! Gang! Oh, look at me. I'm dying, man. I want to go back. Amigo! Holy God, one second! It's got my name on it! Get that car up here! Hurry it up! I'm gonna want a clear roadway out, too. You tell them I'll ventilate her hands anybody gets in my way. Hey, Mama. How'd you like that? Now hurry up! When we leave, I ain't gonna be by myself. The mama's gonna be right behind the wheel. And I'm gonna have the gun behind her head. Now pull that car up! Where are you going with my wife, Kane? Uh, oh, Nika, what a surprise! Me and the mess is here to take a little trip. You here to see us off? Leave her, Kane. Take me. What I want with you, nigga? You so worthless, I could end your life here on Earth if I wanted now. Why don't you shoot? What's keeping you from pulling the trigger? You surprised me. Don't you know it wouldn't be courtly to shoot an unarmed man even if he is black, huh? Give me a gun and let me die with dignity. Don't make no difference to me how you get it, coon. Turner! God damn you, Kane, I can whip you. I let go of my wife and meet the man and man in a fair fight. Ain't never gonna be a fair fight, Coon. Everybody knows whites are naturally superior, boy. Then let her go. Prove it, white trash faggot. Who you calling a faggot, nigger? I heard you say this much. Young boy going to jail at 16? You sure to get taken advantage of. That what happened to you, Kane? Some big black boogeyman stick it to you, boy? I knew you weren't a man. I am, I am. They never got to me. I fought them all off. Never? Ever? No, no. Can you prove it, boy? No. Are you sure? What about that woman you say loved you? Did she really came? Why ain't she with you now? I'll tell you why. Because she didn't want you. Because she got nothing to give. Shut now, that's what you hate. Men with wives and children. Men with proof of their manhood. I am a real man. I am. Prove it, boy. I hate you. 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 You just like the black man my mama run off with. I'm going to shoot you. Shoot the man.
when you find yourself in a bad situation where there's no place to run or hide and the trouble is double cause the ones that you love are standing there right by your side and they're looking to you to know what to do you must sit think too fast cause you know that the next decision you make may very well be your Thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> That's it for me, Joe Bob Briggs, reminding you that in any organization, there is always one person who knows what's going on. That person must be fired. You didn't like that one? Did you guys hear about the two blondes who were working on a house? And uh, one blonde is nailing up siding, and she reaches into her nail pouch, and she pulls out a nail, and sometimes she uses the nail, and the other times she just tosses the nails over her shoulder. And so the other blonde notices what she's doing, so she asks, why are you throwing those nails away? And the first blonde says, well, if I pull out a nail and it's pointed towards me, then I throw it away because it's defective. But if it's pointed toward the house, then I nail it in. And the second blonde yells at her, You moron! The nails pointed towards you aren't defective. They're for the other side of the house. Ah! Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. A blonde finds out that her husband is having an affair. So she goes to a gun shop and buys a handgun. Next day she comes home, she finds her husband in bed with a beautiful redhead. Well, the blonde is so distraught that she takes the gun and she puts it up to her own head. And the husband begs and pleads with her not to shoot herself. And the blonde says, shut up, you're next. Oh.